California is a state that is typically dry, but up until recently, across the state, communities have seen some pretty wet conditions. Fox 26 News reporter Sophia Lesios examined how this wetter than normal season has impacted the state's drought. Sophia? Christina, local meteorologists say that this wet winter weather is positively affecting the state in terms of the ongoing drought, but it's still not enough to get us out of the severe drought. The usual winter weather bringing in double the amount of precipitation Fresno typically sees has been having a positive effect on the valley. Even though across California, communities have seen dangerous flood conditions. We're all very excited to see the rain. In the last year, in Northern California, Lake Shasta has risen 12 feet higher than in 2021. Matt Doyle, the general manager for Lake Shasta Caverns, says they're loving the rain. It's what we're hoping for right now, that we get that water in here, we get those inches of rain, and then this lake will start to shoot up. Closer to home, according to Lake Coia's website, the lake has risen 11 feet in the last 24 hours. I mean, every drop helps, of course, but uh, it's just not enough right now. Jeff Barlow, the senior meteorologist at the National Weather Service, says just because we've been receiving a large amount of precipitation lately doesn't mean we're in the clear of California's drought. We're going to need we're going to need a few years of, of above normal to really get us out of a significant drought. It's not a we didn't get here in one year and we're probably not going to get out of this in one year. Rain and snow is great for a state that usually is dry, but the intense storm can cause damaging impacts. These rain rates um, can be one to two inches, three inches an hour, like a heavy thunderstorm. And it's just like shooting a, a fire hose, it's like pointing a fire hose at a particular area that, you know, that area is going to eventually kind of reach its capacity to hold all this water and it's going to start to flood. So California kind of needs a little bit of a balance in order to have all of this precipitation, but still not have things damaging and destroying. Exactly. And that balance is a very, very fine line because we've been so dry for so many years and everybody wants all the rain and now we're getting all the rain, but when it comes at heavy rates, you know, it really can create some local problems. The National Weather Service says that the valley has been experiencing record breaking hot temperatures every year. Having stronger and shorter storms passing through is nature's way of balancing out the dry weather. Christina, good explainer there. Thank you, Sophia. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, the counties considered in the quote exceptional drought categories are Madera County, Fresno County, Kings County, Tulare County and Kern County.